Hi, I'm Lauren Buzio, Tasting Director for Wine Enthusiast Magazine, and today I'm going to teach you how to taste wine in five easy steps. The first step to tasting wine is C, or observing a wine's visual appearance. You want to make sure that your glass is about one-third full. This will allow for proper visualization at different angles, as well as the room to swirl the wine in the glass. You're going to look down into the glass from the top first. This will help you to see the concentration as well as the depth of color. Next, you're going to hold the wine up to the light. This will help you to see the wine's clarity and any potential cloudiness that might be in the wine. Lastly, you want to hold the wine at an angle against a white backdrop. This could be a napkin or a tablecloth as long as it's white. This will help you to see the color of the rim, which could be an indication of the variety, such as Pinot Noir that has a lighter rim, or an indication of age, as a wine's rim will fade with time. The second step to tasting wine is swirl. Swirling helps to release aromas in the glass, but it also could give visual indications of a wine's alcohol content. One thing to look for is what's commonly referred to as legs, or tears, dripping down the side of the glass. It could be a potential indication of the alcohol content, which could mean a riper, richer, more full-bodied wine. For champagne or sparkling wines, it's a little bit different. Thank you. You'll want to look at the wine's bead, or carbonation, coming up from the glass. This will give you an indication of the potential frothiness, or mousse, to the sparkling wine. Champagne is said to have a finer bead, so it can also be useful when trying to identify a wine blind. The third step for tasting wine is sniff. Now this is my favorite part, because you really get an indication of what the wine will be like before you taste it. You'll want to swirl the glass again to help release the aromas as the wine comes into contact with the air. Take a distant sniff at first, just to make sure that your wine isn't off or faulty in any way. Take a series of quick, short sniffs. There are potentially hundreds of aromas to be found in a wine's nose, so don't try to pinpoint them all. Look for the four primary categories of scents, starting with one, fruits, such as stone fruit or berries, two, herbal or floral notes, like spices or fresh flowers, three, earthy tones, like forest or minerals, and four, oak notes, such as vanilla or toast. The fourth step to tasting wine is to sip. Finally, the fun part. The main technique is to aspirate, which is drawing in oxygen while wine is in the mouth to enhance the aromas and flavors on the palate. You'll also want to swish the wine around in your mouth to saturate all of your taste buds and get as much flavor as you possibly can. Now, it might look and sound a little funny, but don't be shy. It's really a key component to proper tasting. The fifth and final step is to savor. Examine the flavors. Now these can be similar to the aromas, but not necessarily. You can also consider general categories, like sweet, salty, sour, or bitter. And that's it. So next time you order a glass of wine, just remember these five easy steps. See, swirl, sniff, sip, and savor. Cheers.